I will get home. I will get home. Still, still things are going a bit bonkers. So my airline company has made a change to my, my flights. So I've got flights from Philadelphia to Boston, Boston to Dublin, Dublin to London Heathrow. Um, they've adjusted my first flight and they've made that now a Sunday flight rather than a Saturday flight. But they've left all the other flights as Saturday. So Apparently I've got to fly from Philadelphia to Boston then then somehow travel back in time to the Saturday so I can make my connecting flights. Um, obviously that's not going to happen. That's me done. I'm pretty much packed. I've got my toiletry bag to go in and then I'll be all done. This trip has been a bit odd. Covid-19. Catching that. That was a bit of a shocker. One thing it does show is that adaptability, flexibility is quite important. Quite a few things come up and bite me. Obviously, you know, having to arrange the flights again after finding I've got COVID was one thing. Then finding there's some kind of northeasterly, a big storm that's coming in and um, my flight being cancelled, first flight. Lyft, had a look at that, they don't travel that far, they don't get the policy, so I can't get a cab. So it looks like car hire is the only way. The flight company, I decided I'd have a look at this, seeing if I could get a flight from um, Philadelphia to Boston because I looked at the the traffic route it's nigh on six hours drive and takes me through the center of New York uh, like I don't fancy driving for the first time in years on the wrong side of the road through New York so gone back to the flights could get an American Airlines flight and uh, get up to Boston but uh, that's 300 quid pardon me so I've looked at why not just to mend the flight so I've gone back to Expedia. Expedia couldn't do anything with the flights, even though, because the system wouldn't allow them. Uh, and I thought, well, the system's wrong, isn't it? Because the system has given me a initial flight on the 13th and my joining flights on the 12th, which means I've got to somehow travel back in time to be able to make my connection flights. Uh, so that is possibly the most stressful customer experience I've encountered. Um, Expedia had put my flights through JetBlue. I've never used them, heard of them before. But um, JetBlue cancelled the first connection flight from Philadelphia to Boston. Yet didn't change any of the subsequent joining flights. So net result is I had to cancel the entire booking chain and rebook it now so that I can fly today. But it's done, I'm set. I can feel my heart like that from the stress of all of this. I used to take all of this stuff in my stride a lot, a lot better than I do. I don't know, getting older makes, uh, makes these things a bit more intense. I don't know why that is, it should be. You, th you kind of think that the older that you get, the, the more more relaxed about these things that you become, because it happens. But I guess, you know, older days, you just pick up the phone, you talk through with somebody, um, and that would be that. There'd be a bunch of people at a call center that you could talk to. But nowadays, you have to go through a whole bunch of websites to find where they've hidden the customer contact. And then, once you do get to the customer contact, they are constrained by their policies. You can't actually talk to anybody anymore. It's all about typing. So if you can't type, you book it. I can, fortunately, so. But you still lose that interaction. That was a terrible, terrible customer experience. I'm not impressed with that at all. But it's done. Right, I'm gonna get my shit together and get gone. At least I'm back in London earlier though. So I can start my journey back to Cornwall earlier. So that's a bit of a bonus.
The other bonus is, look at this. Clear, COVID clear. <laughs> oh dear, and that's time. So that only came up clear today, day of travel. <laughs> I can't, can't believe I'm actually doing it. I'm actually getting it back out of America. It's taken a lot longer than I thought. Nothing against America. Didn't really want to stay here for that long. So now after goodness knows how many flight cancellations, flight amendments, rescheduling, or goodness knows what, I'm on the way. I'm searching for some breakfast. Not looking good. Uh, that's not what I had in mind. All right, we're on the way. Got the tickets. Now I've got to get some food in. I am starving. It is super humid in here and really warm. And I found the food. Looks like we're about to board the first flight. So, Philly to Boston. Here we go. I'm done. Gotta get myself to Terminal C. Where the hell's that? 66 or 11. So this airport is that big. It's got its own shuttle bus service to run it around. <laughs> so at the moment I'm sat on the bus and even on the bus it's going to take me six minutes to get from the terminal that I landed in over to the terminal that I'm about to take off from. I can't believe I'm still travelling through the airport. It's massive. It's absolutely bonkers. Okay, so time now is 15.46. Flight out to Dublin, 18.21. So that gives me a good, a good three hours now to go get some food, chill a bit, and then, uh, yeah, fly back home. Starbucks, more burgers, and then a few shops. Look at this place, man. This is Barkers. It's quite an old seafood restaurant in the middle of the airport. And this, this place is just huge, phenomenal. And it's going to be a beer and a shrimp. This is quite a walk. Could do with a skateboard. Main flight to Dublin. Thank you. <laughs> that was scary. Guy in the seat next was just had a seizure. Got some oxygen now as he's uh, coming back around again. But we're ready. Yeah. This flight. This trip. Bye. 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 Back here again. And it seems like five minutes. And two weeks. Two days. Got the essentials in the bag. And now I've got to try and find gate 420. Man, I've got a swell. Gate 420. There's like about four gates left and that's the end of the airport. Timing. Last flight. 404. Actually made it. Things are definitely looking up because my bag has arrived. One of the first off as well. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I just realised I've left my duty free on the plane. It was going well, apart from some silly arse. Left the duty freeze on the bloody plane. I've been in touch with the baggage handlers and they're going to check with the cleaners and uh, give me a shout back. And now we wait. Alright, things are looking up. They uh, recovered the bag and I'm in the right place for the train. The last leg, finally. Just made it in time. I should be back in Truro by about half two.
Made it, made it, made it, made it. So after one, two, yeah, two countries, four airports, two trains, and a couple of car rides. So it's six o'clock UK on Saturday the 12th to now, what's that? Four o'clock on Saturday the 13th. Uh, that was one mammoth journey. I'm glad I don't have to do that on a regular basis. I really am. But that's it for now. Mammoth, mammoth event. Really was not expecting to get stuck over there for as long as I did. Philadelphia, interesting place. Don't think I'd choose to go there for a holiday, I'll be honest with you. Um, but maybe, maybe I haven't seen all the good parts. Who knows, who knows. Um, but I didn't get to see the good parts, did I? I get stuck in a hotel room. I'm a bit tired. I'm a bit probably overtired. I've got to get myself together, get set up, get this place organised. Best get myself a table and get set up and get going. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much for sticking with me over the last few days. It's been a bit of a mental time. So I've just had delivery of a brand new camera. So very soon I'll be taking you through what that is, uh, why I bought it and what I'm going to do with it. If you do want to have a look at that in the future, don't forget, look down there, click on that subscribe button. And if you click on that bell notification, then it'll let you know the next time I release a new video. But for now, thank you very much for watching. My name's Rich and this is It's Adventure.